No, you definitely should not copy my code. That's probably what you expect me to say, but in reality, in most situations, I think it's perfectly okay to copy my code and put it on your resume. Let me explain. Welcome back to Web Dev Simplified. My name is Kyle and my job is to simplify the web for you so you can start building your dream project sooner. And today I wanna to talk about the controversial topic of copying code. Lots of people say you should never copy code from a tutorial and that it's going to be bad for you as a learner and also bad to put on your resume, but I actually think quite the opposite. But first I do wanna mention the one situation where copying code is definitely the wrong idea. Let's say that you just finished watching my Reddit clone video on how I created a nested comment system with React and TypeScript, and you just take that exact project, download it from my GitHub repository, upload it to your own GitHub account, and put that on your resume. Obviously this is definitely a bad idea. Technically the license I have for all my code allows you to do this, but you should never do this because none of that code is actually yours. And even if you get a job based on that project in your resume, it doesn't reflect on your abilities and they'll very easily be able to detect that and you'll probably get fired or something bad will happen at your job. So just straight copying code, uploading it as your own and claiming it your own, that's a bad idea. Essentially, you're lying to the person that's interviewing you. But that is pretty much the only scenario where copying my code I think is a bad thing to do. Even if you take my exact same project, download it from GitHub line by line, all you need to do is just modify that code. So I'm talking about a comment system. Let's say that you add some more to that comment system. Like let's say you add some like upvoting, downvoting that I don't have in the project or something along those lines. You just take what I have and you add more on top of it. Make it your own project. That's 100% okay. You've taken some base level of code, you've added onto that code, and now you've made that code your own thing, your own project. Now, there are obviously different layers of this. You know, if you add just a very small feature, for example, you change the border to blue, that's not really taking the code and making it your own. But if you start adding on new features, completely do an overhaul of the UI or design, add new interactions, all of that is making the code more and more your own code, which is 100% okay to share with people. Everybody that is a programmer takes someone else's code at some point and modifies it to the way that they need it. Whether they're going to Stack Overflow to find solutions for problems, they're looking at YouTube tutorials and adding those into their code. I mean, for me, when I was learning to program, the number one thing I did is I would go to YouTube, I would look up tutorials on how to do things I was stuck at, I would build those things, but I would need to change it and modify it to make it my own because I wanted to do it slightly differently or I wanted to add these cool new features. And that helped me not only learn, but also gave me a lot of projects I could use on my resume. Even though the starting point of some of that code wasn't a blank text file, it doesn't mean that it wasn't my own code and my own project that I built in the end. I also mentioned how great this can be for learning. Being able to take someone else's code and modify it and expand on it is probably the number one thing you're gonna do when you're an actual developer, because you're not always writing new cool things. You're pretty much always going to be expanding upon current existing software. So taking someone else's code and expanding upon it and making it your own is the number one skill you need as a developer. If you wanna take this even further and make it an even better learning experience and better for your resume, you can take this exact same project we're talking about, a comment system, and instead of just expanding on the comment system, what if you take that entire comment system and add it into your own project? For example, like a blogging platform. So now you have a full blogging platform you built out and you wanna add this really cool comment system. Well, I have a video on how to build one of those. So you can take the code from that and insert it into your project. Now, unfortunately with programming, it's not as easy as just copy paste, it never works that way. So you need to take that code, you're gonna to have to massage it, you're gonna to have to change it, tweak some things, make it work with your own project. And in doing so, you're going to learn how the code works. You're gonna make some pretty major changes to it most likely to work with your current system. And that is going to make it your own code. Some people may say that doing something like this isn't really your own code. You're just copying someone else's system, tweaking it a little bit and using it as your own. But is it any different than using a library to do this? If I downloaded a library for a nested comment system and added it to my blog, is it really not my blog anymore because I used someone else's library? There's really a fine line to draw there. Like what's the difference between a library, a blog post and a YouTube video? I personally think if you're taking the code, integrating your own system and modifying it enough, it's your own code at that point because you had to read it, understand it and modify it. And that makes it your own project and your own code that you can use on your resume and portfolio. For me, this is one of the most common things I did when I was learning and building projects. I would get to a point where I was like, okay, building a project, super cool. Now I need to add authentication. 
I have no idea how to do that. I'd watch four or five YouTube videos on how to build authentication. I would take bits and pieces from each one, copy some of the code over, modify it into my own system, and now I had an authentication system that was truly my own. It was a combination of multiple other authentication systems and knowledge that I thought of on my own, integrated into my own personal project I was building, and now I have authentication. A little bit later down the road, building the same project, I'm like, oh, I need comments. Now I'd find this really cool comment video by Web Dev Simplified. That'd be really handy. Take that code, modify it, throw it into my project. There you go. I'd do that four, five, six, seven different times for features when I didn't know what to do. And now I have a project that's a combination of like 10 different things that other people built that I changed, modified, worked on, and put into my own project. And this combination of these 10 different things is now my own project. It's entirely my own. Everything in it is about my own project. You wouldn't be able to look at this and be like, oh, they definitely got those comments from Web Dev Simplified because it's now my own thing. And that's what I think is really important. If you're just copy pasting projects into your portfolio, it's pretty obvious for people, especially if they're popular tutorials, because other people might do that. And now when you have someone looking through your resume, they're going to be like, wow, that project looks the exact same as this other person's project and this other person's project. Clearly, they copied it from someone or for all of the tutorial of some form. That's going to look bad. But what if you take that code, modify it, make it your own, put it into your own project, it makes it stand out way more than all these cookie cutter projects. So next time you're working on a project, don't be ashamed if you need to pull code from someone Somewhere else that someone else has used. Developers aren't getting paid to write code from scratch all the time, they're getting paid to solve problems. And the faster and better that you can solve problems, the better developer you're going to be. And most of the time, solving these problems involves using other people's code through libraries, tutorials, blog articles, Stack Overflow, any of those different sources. If they can help you solve a problem quicker and more efficiently, it's almost always the best route to go. And speaking of projects to copy, we've talked a ton about my nested comments video. And if you wanna check that video out, it's gonna be linked right over here. It's the longest and most comprehensive tutorial I've covered on my channel. So I definitely recommend you check it out if you're interested in this kind of thing. With that said, thank you very much for watching and have a good day.